it's giving shoulder. You guys see that? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amber and I'm back with another video. Today's video is a body care review. So a company by the name of Asian Cosmetics reached out to me and asked me to review some of their products. So thank you to Asian Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know about Asian Cosmetics, I'll give you guys a brief description. So they are a black owned company. So that's already a plus. They make vegan, handmade, natural skincare products. On their website, you can find body scrubs, body butters, body oils, moisturizers, like a wide array of body care products. I'll leave the link to the website in the description box so if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so let's get into the products. So they sent me... Um, give me a second. All right. So in the box, they put a paper, so Asian Cosmetics. So they sent me two body oils, one in the scent Popping Papaya and the other one in Island Mango. So I'm just gonna go on the website to tell you guys how much it retails for. So the Island Mango body oil retails for $16.99 but it's currently on sale for $13.99, and that is in US dollars. The Popping Papaya also retails for the same price, $16.99, and it's also on sale for $13.99 at the moment. So I didn't open the actual oils yet, so I do not know what it smells like, so we're gonna get the first impression right now on camera. So on the website, it says the Island Mango is supposed to smell like ripe, juicy mangoes fresh from the tree. So let's put that to the test. Okay, it smells really good. It definitely gives off a fruity smell. I don't know if it's giving really mango, but it's definitely fruity. The description on the website for popping papaya says tropical fruity and an oh so delicious smell. So let's smell this one. Okay, this one smells really good. It's definitely more fruity than the island mango. It's definitely giving more of a sweeter smell. So as I mentioned before, Asian Cosmetics sells natural products. So the ingredients in both oils are safflower oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil. Is it jojoba or jojoba? I never know. Um, vitamin E oil and the fragrance, of course, to get the smell. I love the fact that it has many oils combined together so you don't have to use different, different oils. So I never really used body oils before in my skincare routine, but I heard it's best to apply fresh out the shower when your skin is still damp. So the body oil is basically supposed to give you glowy skin and like help keep your skin moisturized throughout the day. Okay, so I'm going to try the Island Mango first. And guys, my skin was ashy before, specifically for the purpose of the video. And it's definitely giving glow. I don't know if you guys can tell. Although it's oil, it's not really oily or greasy, like it seeps right into the skin. So as I'm applying it to my skin, it definitely gives off a light fragrance, like it's not too strong or it's not overbearing. So you could use this body oil with other fragrances, whether it's a lotion or a fragrance mist or a perfume, it's not overbearing at all. Okay, I'm gonna try the Popping Papaya. Make sure to get those elbows. So you guys can definitely see my skin is definitely glowing. 
and like it just makes my skin feel so soft like i can just tell that this oil throughout the day will not make me feel tacky or anything because it's not greasy asian cosmetics does have a lot of other scents in their body oils not just fruit scents i personally love fruity smells so these body oils are definitely giving i would also try the pineapple one that they have i've seen on their website it's definitely giving shoulder like so i'll leave all the information of the products that i use in this video in the description box below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you get notified whenever i post bye y'all